You're listening to The Man That Can Project with Lockie Stewart, a global movement created to empower men and open up what's really going through their minds by having real and raw conversations about life's unique challenges and our individual ways of processing it all. Welcome to The Man That Can Project. Welcome back, gents. Hope you're enjoying the uh, daily installments of the uh, Lock is Logical Man That Can Project podcast and, uh, you know, getting some just different perspectives on daily life and the challenges and ways of thinking that I have about uh, progressing and, become, you know, working towards being my best self, but also, you know, some some actionable tools and resources that you can use as well. And today's going to be no different. Uh, you know, I want to share more about, you know, using exercise, okay, and also breath work to get comfortable with the uncomfortable. And the reason why I want to share this with you today, I had a, an amazing session with a good mate, Maddie, <clears throat> and, you know, the, the session was challenging in itself. Um, and we, we spoke a lot about, you know, getting comfortable in that uncomfortable zone and just learning to push myself that little bit harder during a workout for a little bit longer. You know, that's what training's there for is to test my limitations in the odd workout but then also getting comfortable in the ice bath right, so at the end of our session we jumped in the ice for six minutes now for those who you know when i'm at function well the gym that i train out of where it has the cold therapy normally i'll do you know three minutes and float between the ice bath uh, uh sorry between the sauna just because mentally i cave well not cave in i just justify that you know three minutes is good enough which it is but, you know, today and, and recently, for those who caught the episode, uh, I know actually in the Man That Can Facebook group, I was talking about how I'm using meditation as well to test my mental resilience because, you know, obviously meditation for me is uncomfortable, sitting there for a long period of time, uh, you know, focusing on one thing and slowing my life down it is very uncomfortable. My mind after a while, you know, I'm, I'm feeling quite comfortable with let's say 10 minutes then after that it's it's like let's go lucky you need to get productive with your day there's things you can be doing let's go let's go let's go and i'm not sure if you guys can relate to that but you know bringing it back to the ice bath there's so many benefits around um obviously cold therapy and or you know whether it's speculation or uh even um i forgot the word right now even if it is another person's just bought a uh, ticket to the men's circle tonight uh, even if it's just placebo, I still believe it's beneficial. Now, people use ice baths for a range of reasons. I know some people completely hate the cold, but bear with me while I share why I think it's important for you to, you know, obviously under supervised conditions, but making sure, you know, you test yourself, whether it's with the ice bath or as my Instagram post said yesterday, you know, a cold shower, um, plunge pool or an ice bath. Now, a lot of us, struggle to control our thoughts in our mind and a lot of us don't like a lot of the thoughts that are controlling our minds at the moment and we want to escape you know i used to escape through alcohol and drugs uh, as a way to sort of get my mind to stop thinking and that was one way i coped with it and i'm a big believer that it's probably not the most beneficial for your health to do it that way and you know can obviously lead to you doing other things in your life that you may not uh you know want to deal with the next day so learning other healthy alternatives is something that I'm a big believer in. And for those who have been to the Foundations Workshop or you know, uh, one of my one-on-one -on -one clients while I'm uh, working out a function well, you know, a big part of the holistic approach that we take to helping you, you know, be the most confident version of yourself and build resilience and, and take ownership for your life is restoration protocols. So meditation, visualization, ice baths. Right, because I want you to get comfortable with the uncomfortable. I want you to understand how much more control you have over your own mind and body than you believe is possible. Right, and I'll talk you through my experience with the ice today. For those who haven't done it, for those who have done it, you know full well what it feels like, right? But today, you know, it was the first time I've done an ice bath in two weeks, and uh, as usual, when I jumped in, that first initial shock is like, "Fuck, get me out of here! Get me out of here! Get me out of here!" Uh, I did a bit of breathing beforehand, so I do a bit of the Wim Hof method. For those who haven't 
uh, heard of the Wim Hof method, you can uh, Google him or jump on his YouTube. But essentially, now he's getting you to do uh, 30 breaths in and out. And just get in a nice cyclical breathing, but really inhaling more than you're exhaling. And you go to a point where you feel tingly, right? And uh, what that is is supposed to do is over obviously over ox- oxygenate your body, but it really helps you focus in on on yourself, right? Even just bringing it back to breath, much like meditation. And I got in the bath and got back into my breathing, like it was that quick shock. But then I was like, all right, here we go, let's go. And I just got back into my breathing. Now, don't get me wrong, the first two minutes, I was like. This doesn't feel as comfortable as I remember it gets. My hands were burning. My feet were burning. Fuck me, it was uncomfortable. But it kept getting easier and easier. And I just said, focus on my breath. (sighs) Don't focus on the cold. Focus on the breath. Get comfortable in this situation because you're not getting out. You've got a point to prove. You said six minutes. Let's do six minutes. And I I kept my eyes closed. And as I looked up and turned to the clock, I was at the two-minute mark. And it was literally about then where... My feet started to feel comfortable, my hands started to feel comfortable, and then I could actually have a conversation. So I got myself comfortable with the uncomfortable, and I think you know, just to remind myself of that was such a powerful thing today, and that's why I wanted to share it with you guys, because there are a lot of us out there who don't feel in control, and you know, whether you want to do a cold shower, like I said, all those things. So even write this down. You, know, you can try a cold shower, and you know, there's multiple ways you can try it. You can jump straight into a cold shower, which once again is not comfortable, or you can just have your shower as normal, you know, wash yourself, do all that sort of stuff. And then just before you're about to hop out, turn the shower on cold and just sit there and aim to, you know, sort of sit there for a minute or two. And that's a, a good way to get used to that cold exposure. And it, it's such a fun experience. <laughs> no, not really, but you get used to it. But it's more about the intention and the process behind it and what you're, you know, you're showing your mind that you have control over. It. And it's something that I believe a lot of us men want to do and I know we all have the ability to do it so that's what I put you know I didn't put myself through but I I went through today and you know talking about building mental resilience there's a lot of things that pop up in life that you know we have quit or you may have quit and you may have regretted quitting it at some point or another you know whether it's a workout whether it's you know process to get a job right whether it's it's winning the girl of your dreams whether it's taking ownership of your life, whether it's building confidence, whether it's really committing to something long enough to get a result. But there's times where your resilience is tested, right? Your character is tested. And a lot of us freak out. That's what we do. Our natural response is to freak out because our mind and our body is like, let's keep you safe. Let's get out of here. This is uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable. Run. And if you keep running from the things that are uncomfortable, How are you ever going to get a result that you want? How are you ever going to change how you're currently thinking? Because the only thing that is comfortable is your current way of living. It's all the results that you've currently got. That's what you will continue to get unless you start putting yourself in uncomfortable situations. And knowing full well, you know, for me always, you know, when I used to have a temper and I probably still do somewhere, I always focus on breathing and just, you know, just you know, whether you want to say centering or just coming back to a point where I'm like, okay, give myself a moment to process it. So I'm not at the height of my emotion right now. And what's the the best outcome right now? What can I do? And can, is this going to kill me? If it's not going to kill me, let's go. Let's go. That's how I want to think about it, guys. And that's why, you know, for those who ever do any work with me and as a man that can continues to evolve and we have some exciting stuff happening, um, you know, for those who do the breakthrough experience at the moment, there's a lot of cool stuff going on there. So if you do want to get involved in the next breakthrough experience, there's four spots left. So not many, four spots left kicking off on the 27th of May. Um, but if you do want to get involved in that, the head over to the website, the man that can project.com forward slash workshops, and you can check out more there. But you know, we're helping you guys get comfortable with the uncomfortable so that you can start tapping into your true potential. You can start taking ownership for your life and building the confidence to be your authentic self and have that resilience to march toward whatever it is that you want. You can create that life that you want. And I'm excited to to see the movement and see the project continue to grow. You know, we're spreading our globe and it just keeps firing me up. And as I was sitting there today and you know, every work, uh, workout I do is, you know, I, I love training because I'm training 
uh, for a specific goal, but I also will never stop because I love challenging myself physically and that's constantly changing what that looks like. But I don't want to, for me as a man, I need to feel strong. I need to constantly prove to myself, not because I don't feel worthy, but because I love testing myself, you know, what I'm capable of as a man and what my body is capable of. And I love that that strength that I have. And I believe a lot of us lose that along the way. And it's not that we can't regain it. We all have the ability to regain it. It just takes really digging the teeth in and building that resilience. And, you know, when you have resilience in one area of your life, you can sure as shit transfer that to other areas of your life because you know what it feels like. You know what the process feels like. You know the outcomes that it can deliver. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm going to wrap it up there. Once again, please you know, head over. If you're not in the Man That Can Facebook group yet, just search the Man That Can Project uh, on Facebook and find the group, not the page. Or you can go over to my Instagram, the Man That Can Project or Lockie, uh, Lachlan Stewart one. And just the link in the bio has it for the um, the group. And I'd love to have you you be a part of the group in the group where I do uh, Facebook Live, Q&A, and there's a whole heap of other really useful content. So make sure you get in there. Love to have you in there. And until next time, Stay safe, keep well, and we'll see you soon. Thank you for listening to the Man That Can Project podcast. My name is Lockie Stewart, and I hope you enjoyed this episode and found it helpful. If you did, please take a moment to rate and review the Man That Can Project on your favorite podcast platform. And don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with our newest episodes. We'll see you again next time.